Hey guys, this is Book Prince here, and today I have a review on the Lego Marvel Super Rose, and it's another Iron Man free set. It's 76007 Iron Man Malubi Mansion Attack, ages 6 to 12. Comes with five mini figures Tony Stark, Pepper Pod, The Mandarin, Extremist Soldier, and Mark 42 Iron Man. So, yeah, and their comic book is included, which I'll show at the end. So, if we have a look at the box first. Quite an action-packed box. Let's see, yeah. Moving on to the back of the box. Let's see, yeah. Let's see, yeah. It comes with one Swanish manual and one biggish sort of manual and then one small comic book which I think is a bit too small for this set. It should have been a bit bigger. So yeah. And then if we have a look at your minifigures. So first of all we have the Mandarin. Focus. See here. And if we take all his stuff off, just leaving him with his headpiece, we can have a look at all the detail. So there's quite a lot of detail on the front. It's a detailed minifigure. And if we have a look at back, he does have a double sided face. So, yeah, that is the Mandarin. Next, we have Pepper Pods. Very realistic to the movie. Let's see. And she does have some back printing. If we take off her headpiece. So that is, yeah, it's double sort of face, and then front face. So that is Pepper Pods. Next, we have the Extremist Soldier. And he does have a double sort of face. So yeah, that is the extremist soldier. Next, we have Mark 42 Iron Man with no one in it. If we just open it up, it just reveals a blank white face because it has not been occupied. He does have gold hands. And then it does have some back printing. And if we close it. Yeah, that is Mark 42 Iron Man. Next, we have Tony Stark. Very realistic to the film. Some back printing. And he has a double sided face. Scared face, which is probably when he's falling off of the mansion. And then sort of happy smiley face. See ya. So that is Tony Stark. Very cool. Next, if we just have a look at the actual set now, and if we start off with the dummy. Bring it in. So this was the thing that saved him in Iron Man 1. Yeah, and it, he does hold one of the Iron Man suitcases with a suit in it. He kept it, I think, because he liked it. And it saved his life, so he would probably keep it. 
he has a firework swinger shot on the side. So yeah, that is the dummy. Mm -mm. Yeah. And then on to the helicopter. The Mandarin's helicopter. Look at the fun. And if we open it. There's no actual detail inside, it's pretty boring, plain inside, there's nothing in there really. But you can fit a minifigure in there. So if we put the extremist soldier. Let's just put him in. So yeah, he fits in nicely. We can shut it up, and he is in there. So, yeah, turn it around. So, some stickers on, and then we have some flick fire missiles. They are green this time. So, yeah, just show them. nothing special, but I'll just show them. So, it's green flick fire missiles. So, yeah. <clears throat> and on the side, so you can probably fit someone in there who won't stay in there. And then we have like a little panel where you can put someone, which is probably meant for the Mandarin. So if we just stand him on there, it doesn't really say you should put him sitting down. But I think standing up is cooler because I think in the trailer he is standing up, but you can have what you wish for. But I think he looks good with the um, Mandarin standing up, I think he looks better. And if we have a look at the back, that's a little propeller. And then he has two propellers on the side, on the top I mean. It's quite weird, I thought we maybe have four, but I don't know why. There must be probably some reason for that. So yeah. So that is the helicopter. So yeah. Now if we move on to the mansion itself. The first sticker has an alert sign on and it shows where the, where the helicopter is how it's coming towards the mansion or the cliff and then the second one shows the helicopter and what it has on it and then the third one it has a feature which I'll show at the end and it's just a plain panel I'll show the features at the end and then on this side it shows two Iron Man suits put in they have their own stands slash slots. So yeah, I'll just show the top of it. And then that's the back of one of the parts of the mansion. So yeah, that is the front of the mansion. And if we go this side, it just has a panel, but no glass window has been put in there. And then down here, this is inside the mansion now, we have some tools and we have a spanner and a hammer. And then up here we have a control panel where like, everything's controlled and you can see it and the first sticker, these are all stickers as well it shows Iron Man turning into Tony Stark and then the other one just shows Iron Man's helmet and you can probably put Pepper Pods up there and she can be looking, see what's going on and it does do a 360 spin and it's quite fun So yeah, so there's a 360 spin. So, yeah. so that is the control panel. So yeah. You like that. And then over here we have the kitchen. A green and white kitchen. Looks quite cool. We have a blender with some oranges in to make some orange juice. And there's a cup to put it in. So you could always take an orange out and put it in the cup. And then you do have some cupboards here. There was nothing in them, but I suppose it would be nice if they had a couple of little, like cans or something you could put in there. But I suppose if you have any food parts from other sets, you could always put them in. And then the other one does open as well, revealing nothing. Oh, whoops! Revealing nothing as well. So, yeah. And over here we have where the Mark Six and Seven suits go. It's meant for them, but you can you can also put the Mark Forty Two one on. I'll show it at the end. And you have some panels over here. You can have some copper minifigures there. 
where they can walk. So yeah. So now I will show you the features. So that is the mansion. Just like a 360 spin. So yeah, and then if I show you the features now, the first feature is the window exploding, so the Mandarin could have fired a missile and BAM it explodes. And you can also put probably Tony Stark on because I think he's meant to be on there. And then you can just put him on. There we are. And you can just place it back on. And it will shut. And then you can obviously do it again. So the Mandarin sees him, fires a missile and BAM he falls off. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then there was another feature over here, which I will show you now. So the guy, if he's like flying, flying with loads of missiles at the mansion, and then what you can do is you can have this feature and then BAM! Oh, that was awful actually. Let me just try that again, because that really wasn't very good. They sort of came off, but nothing really drastic happened wasn't very dramatic. So if I show it again, maybe we can get like a bit more. Of... There we are. <sighs> they can fall off and explode, and it gives that sort of feel that the mansion is being destroyed. So if I put them back, and I will just... And then if we get the, um, we can put Mark 42 Iron Man on there. Because it does look like it, the background, because you obviously have you have the backgrounds, which I'll show you. It's very hard to see, but there is backgrounds. And it shows that, it shows that suit. And then if you take this one off. And then it shows the other one. And the stickers on. And then if we just put the Mark 42 suit on. And we can demonstrate the explosion again. I love doing this. It's fun. And it explodes, and I gave some features, special effects with it. So that is the mansion. Overall, I think it's very well designed. It does resemble the film. It's a bit better than last year when they did the, um, that, the, um, Heli Cara Hulk's breakout set, which I thought didn't really, it was good, but it didn't really resemble anything in the film. It sort of was, like, part stuck. It was just, ooh. But this, I think, does resemble the mansion quite a lot. And so that is the mansion, and that is the set. I'm really impressed with this set. And now if we just have last, if we have a look at the comic. Now I'll just show you the comic, which is for, for the set. And that is the front cover. And then we just have some back printing. That shows the Iron Man 3 minifigures, the Ultimate Spider-Man minifigures of 2013. And it shows the Avengers and the Spider-Man wave last year. And then if we open it up. So let's have a look, and it's the first comic. So it just shows Tony Stark in Iron, in Iron Pepper Pods just sort of working away, and then they there's suddenly the um, Mandarin arrives in his helicopter, and you can see the Mandarin and the extremist soldier in there, and then Pepper Pods and Iron Man look quite nervous and scared, and it just shows a picture of them looking out the window, and then boom, the window is destroyed, and bam. He falls out and Pepper Pods can't do very much. But then she has a smart idea. And then Iron Man's like, no! He's about to hang, he's handing off to the cliff. And then the Mandarin's evil, so he fires another missile. And then Iron Man's like, doomed. And uh, Iron Man falls. Bleh! And he fall, probably falls into the sea. And the Mandarin's like, yeah. And then Iron Man's falling. And then, oh, wait, Iron Man is after him. Oh, who could this be? And then phew, he gets saved just before he falls into the sea. And Iron Man's like, oh, I love you. And then, dun, 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 it is Pepper Pods, surprisingly. So, yeah, that was her idea, so to go into the Iron Man suit and save him. And then it shows Iron Man and Extremist Soldier together. And then, no, Iron Man, no, the Extremist Soldier and Mandarin together, sort of unhappy. And then it just shows... Tony Stark and, well, Miss Iron Man together. 
and then you can obviously finish the scene how you want it. You could just kill the Mandarin, or maybe you wouldn't. So overall, I think this set is amazing. I think all the minifigures are so... There's a really good variety of minifigures, and I think it's just a great set. The price is excellent. I couldn't have asked for it to be any cheaper. It's just perfect price. £34 and $39, that is really good. If you can purchase some of the other Marvel Super Pro sets, it's good. I love all the detail inside the mansion. It's great. I love everything. I love the helicopter. All the minifigures I just love. It's a great set with some great play features. And overall, it's just brilliant and great. I'm going to give it for young kids a 10 because it just it deserves a 10, this set. Those of thought has been put into it. And they've obviously created a really... A managed... A managed... A managed... Oh, sorry. A managed... A man, wait. A managed tiff set. I think it's absolutely amazing. So young kids gets a 10, teenagers so gets a 10 as well, and adults it's going to get a 10. I think it's quite a collectible thing. If you look at it, like that's like one of the biggest things in the Iron Man movie, the Malu Mansion, and it's like in Lego form. And the minifigures are very good as well. You know, we get one, two, three, four, four exclusive minifigures, and then Mark 42 does come in the sequel battle. But overall, incredible, amazing, and awesome. Just mind blowing. Just an incredible set. I really love it. I'm going to like it forever. So, yeah. Um, maybe I'll just show you Pepper Pods in the Iron Man suit quickly. Before I go, I'll just put the camera down for a second. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not gone. I'm not left you all. I hope my camera doesn't switch off. And I'll be back in a second. Wait, just wait one second. I am back. Sorry about that, but I'll just show it. So that is what Pepper Pods looks like in the Iron Man suit. So yeah. So yeah, anyway, awesome set, love it. Um, thanks for watching and please comment to see your thoughts and what you thought of my review and what you think of the set and like, come on, like. And please, 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 please subscribe. Press that button now, it does not harm you. And if you want more reviews from me and you like my reviews, press the button now and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.